everybody. This is Texas Yarn Lover, Aurora, at Texas Yarn Lover. And this is my uh, second Cast Off Crew video. I'm going to show you some stuff. I didn't make a lot this week, but I do want to show you some of the stuff that I have been uh, creating before I got on the Cast Off, group, cast -off Crew. And my first one I'm going to show you is, um, is a scarf. I call it <laughs> my lion scarf because uh, it just, when you put it on, it, it looks like you're a lion, especially my girls like to wear it right around the, their head like this. And yes, I know I look ridiculous. <laughs> but I love it because it's so warm, it's fuzzy, it's, I, I don't know, I like it, I like the way it looks. And this is actually, is using some of the, um, boucle yarn and in between well the way you make it is you just crochet a long chain however long you want it to be and I don't remember how long this was but um, actually you don't even have to crochet it it's just a long piece of thread of the same kind and then you make little little balls or little sections of thread by wrapping it around a piece of cardboard cutting it, tying the, the pieces together, and then separating them with um, beads. And I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's beads in between here. You can't really feel them because they are um, hitting, hidden by all this yarn. So that's my, um, I'm calling it my um, lion cowl, is what I'm calling this one. The next one I want to show y'all are my circles. Um, and the reason I crocheted these is because I had a, ho a lot of leftover yarn and my girls were starting school and I hate the fact that they make them sit outside on the hot cement. And so I thought this would be a nice way for their bottoms not to touch that hot cement. And so they each got one and I just used some, you know, leftover yarn that I had one likes pink, one likes blue, and they're twins, they're night and day, so go figure. Um, but this one has a lot of greens in it, uh, leftover boucle yarn in like a beige and brown. And I'll try to take a picture of them so y'all can see them up close because I love it when people post their pictures because then you can really see the stitches and see how it goes without having to explain it all. It's basically double crocheted, just like starting a beanie. Um, and then you just increase until you're happy with it. And pretty soon they're, they're going to be outgrowing it because they're getting pretty big. And they're only in the second grade, so these are my two sitting pads. And I don't know if any of y'all um, have seen this yarn, but when I saw it, I completely fell in love with it. Um, it's called, um, oh, no, I'm not going to remember. It's called... Um, chinchilla yarn and it is so comfy and so this is the thickness of the thread and if you haven't seen it I got this I think at Hobby Lobby is where I think I got it it's got a little bit of shine to it like crystals it looks like crystals it just shines really pretty this one is a very long chain for my one of my girls the one that likes pink and I just crocheted until I finished the ball of uh, chinchilla yarn. I can't remember who makes it, but that's what it's called. And she just puts it over her head, just like a cowl. And she can wear it like this. She likes to wear it like this, where it's close to her neck. And that keeps her warm during the winter. The other one that's with a similar type of yarn that I made for myself but with a different, with a different uh, pattern or stitch is this. And I can't remember where I got the idea. I think it came on the sleeve of the chinchilla yarn. Um, and I think it's from Lion Brand, if I'm not mistaken. But I love it because you, I like to wrap it around my neck maybe once or twice even three times if you can and it just creates this beautiful beautiful shaggy look 
that's the kind of look I like. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a big person, and um, I should say a big woman, and I like things to stand off. I don't like skimpy stuff because you can't really see it on me. That's my opinion, anyway. <laughs> and here's the other scarf that uh, with the same technique that I uh, crocheted for, and it's really simple, the stitch. Uh, I can show it to y'all in a video, maybe later on, but I gotta check and see if I can do that. I'm pretty sure I can, but uh, I'll try to link. I had previously done this in a totally different stitch, and I had cut up all this yarn, and just could have kicked myself, really, because it wasn't enough to make the the scarf that I was making initially. So uh, I took it all apart, and I, I don't know if you can tell, but I have these cut ends in here, and you can't really tell when she's wearing it. So I'm happy. I'm happy that the way it came out. Um, I loved it. I, I'm much happier with this technique than with the previous one that I had tried. And my next project that I had crocheted, actually, this one's knitted. And this is my finger knitted scarf. And it's uh, knitted with your fingers, across your fingers. And I just knitted until I ran out of yarn. Uh, this is, I think, Simply Soft by Karen. Karen Simply Soft. I don't know what color this is. And um, I love it. It's just like my other daughter's pink one with the chinchilla. And this is great if y'all have never tried finger knitting. It's awesome. It's fast. It's easy. I mean, you could do it with your eyes closed, basically. And I love this because you can wear it as a necklace or as a scarf, basically. So that's my other one. And it, I did use two balls at the or two yarns at the same time of the same yarn because I had it. I wasn't using it, and it was so soft. And I thought, why not? make a scarf out of this. And um, the next item I have is this, what I like to call wrap or shawl or I don't know. It's, I think it started out as a shawl. I can't remember where I got the pattern, but I'll definitely put the links to it. And it's just open mesh. But what I realized is that I'm never going to wear this. <laughs> My mom loves this. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to give it to her for her birthday, which is coming up. And um, I actually attached a flower, but I couldn't find it. It must have gotten untied somewhere. And I thought I weaved in my ends, but of course, you know, those nasty ends. Um, and this one, there's a... started off as a shawl, like I said, but... I also realized that uh, the teenagers or, you know, the tweens or whatever, uh, good-looking women with uh, great bodies <laughs> can wear this as a bikini wrap. Uh, it doesn't cover up much, mind you, but it's, it looks great when they're, it's wrapped around the hip. And, you know, you can wear it on top of shorts or even pants for that matter. So, um, that's that. Now this is what I crocheted this week and this is like a little satchel or purse and this is regular red hard yarn in here, within here. Um, here I've mixed like two types of yarn that frankly I cannot even remember the name of this other funky little yarn but I know that that's the eyelash yarn with another type of yarn that I, I can't and then just chained a very long strap and I did um, I did weave it in and out of the double crochet um, little windows that I like to call them in between and I don't know if you can see it through all that eyelash or yarn but here's a double crocheted up chain one and then double crocheted into the second um, chain and so on and so on. So I weaved it in and out. Then at the very top, I used a um, a backward single crochet. And I love that stitch. On this purse, it just didn't do it justice, but I left it like that anyway because the girl has been asking me for this little satchel, 
and the bottom is actually how I started it. Um, this is a CD under here, and it's an old CD that I wasn't going to use. And so um, I decided, you know, I saw a video on how to make a purse out of a CD. Well, I didn't make it exactly how she had it, and I think that one you can find, that example you can find at, I think it's Elaine Crochet's at, oh, I forgot it, but I'm going to put the link down at the bottom so y'all y'all can see that, how she does that. And, and, by the way, Elaine Crochet is all in Portuguese. So, no, I don't understand Portuguese, but I do understand Spanish. And they're really, really close. So a lot of the words I kind of get. And after watching her videos for such a long time, I'm kind of understanding all, all of it. So you kind of learn Portuguese at the same time. And this is the, the other item that I have. I haven't weaved in my end. This is a cowl that I saw off of those little, little tear-off sheets you see at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. And it was just a really great cowl. I mean, you could wear it so many different ways. And this is one way that I love. I think I put it on backwards because this is the end. I like how I like to wear it and I just crochet this I never crochet anything hardly anything for myself uh, I always usually crochet for everybody else except me and so I kind of splurged a little and I got this really thick yarn I think it's hometown USA by Lion Brand and it's awesome and it works up so fast I didn't even have to look at my stitches when I was crocheting it because I could feel it and um, and I love it because you can wear it like three, well, so many different ways, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But you can wear it like this, which is awesome. And then you can wear it over your head if it's long enough, like this. And then you can also wear it to where, my mom did it so nicely just a little while ago. And just like that. And it looks, I mean, anywhere you wear it, any way you wear it is, is good. And I love it. I love the color. I think this one of the new colors this past year that was really hot. And so I grabbed it, but I just got around to, to crocheting it. And it's just double crocheted all the way up. It calls for, like, for the base chain, it calls for, oh, 45 stitches. But I did it a, bit, a little bit bigger because I just tend to, I feel very uncomfortable with the cows that they when I, I crochet them the way the pattern calls for because I'm I have such a big neck and um, so I kind of extended it a little bit and I think I crocheted like 50 55 stitches or chained 55 stitches and then you join them in um, uh, with a slip stitch and then just crochet and you do have to uh, and your your rows. It's not a continual round piece because it, it's double crochet and I don't think it, it could work like that, but y'all tell me. Uh, my other piece that I crocheted for a friend of mine was this beret slouchy and I think these are adorable. Uh, the girls look so sweet. I'm going to want to crochet a lot more of these in a lot of different colors because spring is coming <laughs> and I don't know about y'all but I want to be ready for that season and uh, I'm ready for some uh, the winter to be over. I know a lot of us like winter but I am one of those people that do not like winter because my feet are always cold, my hands are always cold, my nose is always running so I'm ready for spring and summer to come along. This is one of the spring mesh crochet um, I think it's a beret is what it's called and I'll post the link down at the bottom so y'all can take a look. And this hat, I did it with just regular red hard yarn. And the brim is crocheted um, the long way. So you crochet the brim all the way around. You join it. And then you crochet up to the top. So it's from the bottom up. And that's I'll post the link down at the bottom like I said. The last two items, or the last item I like 
to show y'all is this crocheted ring. And I don't know if y'all can see that from far away. But this, I love this. I used um, very thin, thin yarn. And you basically start off with, it's, I can't remember what the pattern is called, but I will post it down at the bottom. And you just start crocheting in a big, big circle. It's almost kind of the, the same pattern as from Mikey's Mail. Uh, the Happy, I think it's called the Happy Flower. Basically the same thing. And you just keep increasing, increasing, never stop increasing. And so pretty soon you get this ruffle effect and it does its own thing. I used a rubber band, just a regular old rubber band that you can buy, you know, tons of small ones at the office supply store and crocheted that around and attached it to the top which is the little ruffly part. And I hope, uh, I think that's it. Hope you guys liked my video. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe down at the bottom up here too. And uh, keep watching. I am, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am working on a 27 video series of different crochet um, stitches. I've got about three or four already up. So come visit me at Texas Yarn Lover, and we'll be seeing you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.